Welcome to this screencast about Grand.org and some of the problems you might encounter while doing the MIDI configuration of a sample set to your console. We will begin by loading a sample set and I will show you a few of the things that might happen. Okay, so we will at first put something in the first general and to do so we push the set button and then the general we wish to store these stops in. Disable the set button, take away all the stops and check that it's working. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I want to connect this um, division, uh, general now to a button on my console, on my foot controller. So I select it with a right click and hit the listen for event button and push the button on my foot controller I wish to connect to this general and okay. and we see that the general is there and now I try to recall it with my foot controller and we see that the pedal stops are not responding and you might think that this is some kind of mistake uh, but it's actually intentional and it's uh, due to that the divisionals for an organ is set to respond to controller change messages on that channel of that uh, keyboard and the generals are set to respond to controller change messages on any channel so in this case the two will collide and the general is called but then also the divisional and for the divisional with we have nothing set. So it won't work when I hit the button. One solution to this would be to just say don't listen to anything for the divisional. And now if I hit the button on my foot controller everything will work again. Happy. Okay, another possibility would be to set this divisional for the pedal to respond to a certain other button on my console or foot controller. So I select listen for event and set it to another button. Okay. And now if I push the general, the button to uh, recall the general we see that now the stops for the pedal works again. And uh, just to make sure that um, the divisional for the pedal, which is empty at this moment, will work, I will push that button too. And then the pedal stops will disappear. Yes, it works. So, Another thing you might encounter is that the stops as such are set by default to respond on channel 5 note on and off messages on will activate a stop off will disable it and I will set now my MIDI keyboards to make sure that uh, one of them will send messages on channel 5 and I will do that by offsetting okay it is already on offset by 4 so this keyboard now will send on channel 5 instead okay so if I hit the lowest key on that keyboard 
it should activate a stop. Yes, it does. And if I release the key, the stop will go off. This might not be desirable, desirable if your console has momentary switches. Then you wish to hit the button once and the stop should go on and if you hit it again it should go off. This you can set by right clicking and instead of just the event note you select note on toggle. Okay. And now if I hit the same button again once and release it the stop goes on and if I hit it again it goes off. That's the way how you can can make sure that uh, the stops work as you want them to. There are lots of possibilities with this configuration pos and um, I hope you will enjoy it this nice feature. Thanks for watching